Hello friends, we are going to address the 13th topic of the chapter discrete time random processes to learn advanced digital signal processing here. So till now with the understanding of the random variables and the random processes along with the corresponding ensemble averages in the previous video we have addressed the stationarity with respect to the random processes here. Now in this video we are going to add certain more information with respect to the second order statistical characterizations. Those are very very important into the further analysis and these are called the autocovariance and the autocorrelation matrices. So let us see the details of these two characterizations in the further details. <music> So here we can start with our topic the auto covariance and the auto correlation matrices. Before going to exactly start with these matrices I must recall that in the first video we have seen the definitions with respect to the random variables after having discussion regarding the four experiments and next to that we have addressed the four important ensemble averages including mean, variance, the mean square error along with the standard deviation here. So after learning the random variables completely we switch to learn what exactly the random processes are there. So from the ensemble set sample space here what we denote by capital Omega there it is a mapping to the discrete time signals x1 of n x2 of n so that way so we have the random processes and we have seen the ensemble averages with respect to the random processes also so thereupon we have already seen what exactly the autocorrelation and autocovariances are now here the title shows us the autocovariance and the autocorrelation what information we have studied into the matrix form here so we must proceed that the auto covariance and auto correlation sequences these are nothing but the second order statistical criterization that we have seen for the discrete time random processes into the topic number 10 in this particular chapter and these are usually also represented into the matrix form that we are going to see further now moving to this we must have the example to be discussed here where we can have the representation of a vector. So this vector is of course holding the information with respect to the random process. The random process that we can denote x of n here. So now if we have x that is a vector of p plus 1 values of the random process represented x of n. So that time the outer product if we carry out like p plus 1 into p plus 1. So we get a matrix form. So to compute the matrix form whatever the x we have assumed that can be mathematically represented like this. So here it is the same vector that we have discussed here and it has the p plus 1 values. So the p plus 1 values as we are starting at x is equal to 0 the value of p is equal to 0 then x of 1 x of 2 like this we are going up to x equal to p here hence the complete p plus 1 values. So this way we have to carry out the product or the multiplication at the outer set p plus 1 into p plus 1 so that time whatever the matrix form we get that matrix can be mathematically represented by this equation. So here we have x that is the vector of p plus 1 values of the random process x of n and here it is the hermitian of the x same here hence it is represented x and to the power we have capital H here. So in the matrix form here we have the columns 1 2 in general like this extended up to this particular last column here. So this way we can have the columns as well as the rows here plus 1 into p plus 1 here. So the first combination 
we obtain x of 0 into the conjugate of x of 0. In the same row, the first row, second element we obtain x of 0 into conjugate of x of 1. The third element it will be x of 0 into conjugate of x of 2. So likewise we extend to x of 0 into the conjugate of x of p. So this completes the first row that is for x of 0. In the similar fashion, the second row first element it will be x of 1 into x of 0 conjugate. Second element into the second row x of 1 into x of 1 conjugate. So this way x of 1 into x of 2 conjugate. Lastly at x of 1 into x of p conjugate. So this way at the last row we obtain x of p into x of 0 conjugate, x of p into x of 1 conjugate, x of p into x of 2 conjugate. Lastly x of p into x of p conjugate. So the last row, last column element here. So this is the matrix that we have obtained. So for this case, if we have x of n, the random process that we have denoted to be a wide sense stationary random process. So if we take the expected value and use the Hermitian symmetry of the autocorrelation sequence, the autocorrelation sequence that is denoted as here we denote Rx of k and for the symmetry we denote Rx conjugate of minus k. So this leads to the p plus 1 and p plus 1 multiplication here, the matrix form that we have represented and this is of course for the autocorrelation values and whatever we have seen into the last equation is nothing but the autocorrelation matrix here. So the autocorrelation matrix can be represented like this. So the autocorrelation that generally we represent by R here. So for matrix we use the capital letter. So here it is capital R suffix X, X representing the random process. So this is computed by taking expected value of the multiplication of X vector that we have represented into the previous equation in multiplication to the Hermitian of the same vector here X here. So the autocorrelation values are Rx of zeros, Rx conjugate of 1, Rx conjugate of 2 up to Rx conjugate of P in the first row. In the second row Rx of 1, Rx of 0, Rx conjugate of 1, Rx conjugate of P minus 1. So this way at the last row we get Rx of P, Rx of P minus 1, Rx of P minus 2 up to Rx of 0. So this is the autocorrelation matrix. So from the title that we have autocovariance and the autocorrelation matrices, the first one that we are supposed to address that can be derived from the second that we have just now shown to you. So this is the autocorrelation matrix here. So now moving further, if we have again the outer product for the same order p plus 1 into p plus 1 but carried with the vector that is formed by having subtraction of the mean of the random process x from itself that is forming the outer product of x minus mx with itself and taking the expected values so we get the auto covariance matrix so mathematical representation of this particular one can be shown as the auto covariance matrix denoted as capital C suffix X. So as we have said, this is the expected value of hence capital E and within the curly brackets. Now here we are having X minus MX, MX being the mean of the random process X. So this is in the first bracket and this is multiplied to the Hermitian of the same. So x minus mx. So this gives us the auto covariance matrix. So from the title, as we are already covered with autocorrelation matrix, this representation that we see here for Cx is nothing but the auto covariance matrix here. Now we have seen the autocorrelation matrix also, auto covariance matrix also in this particular expression. 
द रिलेशन बिटवीन द टू ऑटो को रिलेशन मैट्रिक्स एंड ऑटो को वेरियंस मैट्रिक्स कैन बी गिवन बाय द नेक्स्ट इक्वेशन सो हियर वी फाइंड कैपिटल सी सब एक्स एक्स द ऑटो को वेरियंस मैट्रिक्स इज इक्वल टू ऑटो को रिलेशन मैट्रिक्स कैपिटल आर सब एक्स एक्स माइनस द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ एम एक्स विथ एम एक्स हर्मिटियन हियर सो एम एक्स बींग द मीन वेक्टर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द एक्स वैक्टर सो दैट हैज बीन रिप्रेजेंटेड एम सब एक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू वी हैव द एलिमेंट्स इन दिस वैक्टर एम एक्स एम एक्स एम एक्स सो दोज मेनी टाइम्स वी हैव दिज रिप्रेजेंटेशन हियर नाउ इफ द रैंडम प्रोसेस इज अ जीरो मीन रैंडम प्रोसेस सो मीन वैल्यू so as for random process we have x denotation here so mx if it is equal to 0 so that time these two matrices auto covariance matrix and the auto correlation matrix the two one in the title are same here so we can state that for zero mean processes the auto covariance and auto correlation matrices are equal now one by one we shall see the three properties with respect to whatever the learnings we have done so far so this is with respect to especially the auto correlation matrices here so let us go for the first property so this is the property one that can be stated for the auto correlation matrix which is mostly preferred while having the analysis with the wide sense stationary random process abbreviated as wss and symbolically represented as x of n so it is a hermitian toplets matrix and mathematically represented like this so we have shown the auto correlation matrix onto the lhs by rx and this is the toplets of we have rx of 0 rx of 1 rx of p up to this is the first property now we go for the second property the second property is again for the auto co relation matrix of the wss random process and this is a non negative definite here so as it is non negative it must be always greater than 0 here so mathematically we represent rx to be always greater than 0 so this is the second property now we go for the last property that we call property number Three here. The property number three gives the information that the eigen values, the eigen values are basically the roots of the equation. You must be having the knowledge. So eigen values, when represented by lambda sub x k or the auto correlation matrix of the WSS random process, they are real valued and non-negative. As we have seen the representation of the auto correlation matrix so into the matrix generally what we have in the matrix form the number of rows are there so whatever the elements into the rows are there these are nothing but the coefficients into the equations here so a set of equations is nothing but the matrix form here only the coefficients when shown into the corresponding columns of these rows represented here so for such equation so whatever the number of rows we have those many number of equations we have accumulated the information in this matrix here so for this auto correlation matrix corresponding to the equations in the corresponding rows here whatever the eigen values that we can determine denoted as lambda sub x k for the wide sense stationary random process they are real valued and non negative so this property number 3 completes the information with respect to these two important second order characterizations called as auto covariance and auto correlation matrices now by the next topic we shall go further into the details of ergodicity to learn discrete time random processes in more details thank you